Here at the White Collection, we have about 65 Porsches. It's a number that's constantly changing, but it's usually going up. The 959 we have here is obviously a crown jewel in the collection. It's a technological tour de force. It's an unbelievable groundbreaking car for Porsche in the 80s. When Ferrari went one way with the F40, Porsche decided to go all in with luxury and technology. You see that technology used years and decades in the future for Porsche. Here at the White Collection, we tried to go for a very distinct museum environment. It goes from the pads that the cars are parked on, the floor signage that we have here. So the way we've arranged the cars here in the White Collection, we have the 959 in the center of the supercars with a Carrera GT. And the 918 Spider next to it. And on either side of that, we have RSs, so 911 Carrera RSs, starting with 1973 up until the end of the air cooled with the 1996 Carrera RS. And on the other side of that, we have the GT3 RSs. Surrounding those cars, we have GT2s. We have turbos and turbo looks. On the other end, we have speedsters and then a row of Targas as well in the line of cars, you really see the evolution of the 911 in many ways here at this collection. Another crown jewel we have is a Carrera RSR streetcar. It's a full-on muscle-bound race car with a street interior. There is nothing that is not covered in a unique material on that car. The roll bars are wrapped in leather. The fire extinguisher lines are wrapped in leather. You can tell Porsche spent a lot of time building it. It's obviously ordered by somebody with very unique tastes, but he was definitely a Porsche file. He ordered the wheels in amethyst metallic, which at the time was a Porsche 964 color. The metallic gold brake calipers are a Porsche color at the time. And naturally, Grand Prix White was still a color that Porsche offered. So everything on it, it's a, a tried and true Porsche build. It went through Porsche's factory program. The uniqueness works on that car because it's, it's a race car. It, it should be loud. It's very loud. It's a love it or hate it car. I love it. So I know a lot of older Porsche fans may not consider a 911 to be a true Carrera. And we do have 356 Carreras here in the collection. And one of the more unique ones we have is a 59A 356 Carrera 1600. You wouldn't believe it, but it's similar to the Carrera SR in a lot of ways. It's Porsche's first race-bred motor uh, used in the 550 Spider, and they decided to put it in street cars for people who wanted a, a good horsepower bump over the push rod. It's obviously a custom build as well. Very pretty. It's not as in your face as the Carrera SR, but it's a race car of its time. Starting in 1956, Porsche stopped offering a very white white and started offering a color called ivory, which has yellow tones in it. Outside of this collection, it would look white, but inside, uh, when you have the contrast of the walls and the floor, it looks yellow, but it's the whitest white Porsche offered at the time. We have a very extensive technical library here at the White Collection. We have documents starting, I think, in 1951, 1950, with spare parts lists, workshop manuals, et cetera. In addition to the technical library upstairs, we have a pretty extensive collection of everything Porsche. The breadth and depth of what Porsche has made for a small company is unbelievable. We have luggage sets from the 50s until today. In the 1990s, Porsche decided to get into the mountain bike game. 
bikes. I did a road bike as well. We bought scale models, literature, posters. Each poster is individually uh, put away. They're not rolled up. They're laid flat on acid-free backer board in a mylar sleeve. Each poster gets its own sleeve, so you can pick them up and move them without damaging the poster. So what got me into Porsches? My dad bought a 1978 Targa, new in late 77. I was born a few years later, so growing up, always had that in the garage. He still has it. One owner car, 70,000 miles or so, I grew up in it. I fly in from my hometown of here. I'm here for three weeks straight. We have a living quarters set up in the building. So we try to treat this as a, almost an island in a way. When I'm here, I'm sorting parts, doing parts replacement, making the cars better, perfecting them every day. That's the goal here. I don't think a lot of people get to wake up and go to bed around a number of really, really nice Porsches. And that's definitely something I don't take for granted. What's next for the white collection? Well, we're always looking for any Porsche that's white and low mileage. So whether that's a used car that we need to add to the collection or anything that Porsche is turning out today, we're, we're on the hunt.